Be my dad, 101st Airborne in the early 90s. Get sent to Panama for training. Exercise is basically to parachute into the jungle and figure out how to get home. Dad jumps in, knows he'll most likely spend the night alone under some tree. So he walks a few miles and sets up a little campsite for the night. Just laying, can't see the stars because of the fucking trees. Starts counting leaves to alleviate boredom. Starts getting dark. Dad dozes off for a bit, but wakes up. Wakes up to a man in the trees. Dad flips the fuck out, but doesn't move. Just stays under his poncho. Man in the trees gets closer. Is hanging on a branch only inches away. Dad then smells the smelliest smell of all. Like, as he explains it, shit, liquid garbage, and liquid shit. Dad realizes a forest goblin is not coming to steal his soul. It's a big, fat, covered in shit sloth. It gets right in front of him and just stares. Dad realizes he'll never get an opportunity like this again. Reaches his hand out and touches it. It hisses at him. Dad, not knowing jack shit about sloths, flips out and packs his shit and leaves. Be me, in a rack. Be handling some logistics. We get a shipment of watermelon. Fucking watermelon. Unpacking them into a storage unit. LT in charge comes over. Tells us that someone is stealing melons. Isn't any of us. LT is furious and questioning everyone within range. As we are in charge of the melons, we're following him. He sees a camel eating one of the melons. Gone fuck you good, JPG. LT grabs a 2x4 sitting around and hits this fucker over the head. Just fucking devastated in two hits. Skull collapse on the third. LT draws pistol and just lights into it. Complete magdom. This is what happens to thieves in my sandbox. Be me, Dutch army guy, on training in a village. Civvies walk the streets as we patrol in full combat load. Nobody bats an eye. I carry the Panzerfaust on my back. Having a short stop, kneel down next to a car. Panzerfaust smashes through the windshield of the car. Owner walks out of his house and starts charging at me. Buddies work him to the ground and try to calm him down. Make my way out of there as fast as my legs can carry me and the 60 kilograms of crap on my body. Run into LT. Everything okay, Anon? Yeah, sure. Are we ready to move out again? And that's how I made the local news. Be in shipyard, period. December. Broke dick carrier is broke dick. Repairs running way behind. Reason repairs are running behind is because shipyard workers aren't working. They don't get paid if there's not a ship there for them to work on. No other ships coming in anytime soon. Therefore, they're not going to finish anytime soon. They mostly come in, hide, sleep. Repairs way behind. Daily dock fees piling up. Water service, electrical, steam, sewer, etc. Pentagon yells at captain. Captain yells at chief engineer and reactor officer. Chief engineer apologizes, says we're doing what we can, takes ass chewing. Not engineering's fault that the shipyard's work is behind. Engineering not allowed to do shipyard's work either. RO doesn't see it that way. Tells reactor department, if you don't want to work, you don't get to play. Christmas leave is cancelled. Admiral in charge of all ships in shipyard is touring USS Broke Dick. Accompanied by captain, chief engineer, and RO. Walking through propulsion plants, come across three senior mechanics. Guys are covered in grease, balls deep in work on a turbine. Admiral walks up behind and says, You gentlemen looking forward to Christmas? Three mechanics look back. C-306-107+. Proper military etiquette. Attention on deck. Come to attention. Reply to Admiral's statement politely, referring to him as Admiral, not Sir. Stay at attention until dismissed at east. Instead, two junior mechanics just turn back to their work and continue. Senior most mechanic makes eye contact with Admiral. What Christmas? Turns back on Admiral. Gets back to work. Admiral, speechless. RO, Chief Engineer, Captain, all wait for Hammer to drop. Admiral pauses. Thinks for a moment. Turns to RO. Joe, why did that man just ask me, what Christmas? And that's the story of how the Admiral saved Christmas.